Hello again. Um, before I begin this video, I wanted to just uh, double check and show you the results for for the command from, from from last time when we wanted to see information about the host. So if we run our container, docker run get my IP address and then HTTP slash slash if config dot me slash host just to show you that it actually works shouldn't be, take too long this time. Um, what we want to do now is ask ourselves this question: What if we? Uh, sorry. So now we know how command works to run a default command when we run our container. We know how entry point works to pass uh, maybe a custom, you know, have pass our own parameter to the command that we wanted to run by default instead of running the same uh, exact same command all the time. But what if we want to have some default parameters for our command? Meaning, if we pass a new parameter, that's fine. If we don't, then we run the command with default parameters. Well, we can do this by using cmd and entry point together, by using command and entry point together. Entry point, we will use it to define the base command for our container, and we will use cmd or the command to uh, define the default parameters for that command. And let's head immediately to our docker file and modify it in such a way that we can have a default uh, uh, parameter or parameters. So for our entry point, it's still the same. This is the command that we wanted to run, but this time we will tell it using cmd that have this parameter as your default parameter if config dot me slash ip or something like this yeah or slash maybe ua so if we pass you a parameter from the command line then don't worry about this if we don't then use cmd as uh, you i'm sorry use this http if config dot me slash ua as the parameter for the w get command let's save and exit right and build our image so docker build minus t to tag get what did we call it last time get my ip address something like that yes what and then it will build oh, uh, quickly so if we now run this uh, this image docker get my ip address notice if i don't pass anything it will run uh, uh, the wget command on if config.me slash ua if I pass it something then it will use this parameter if config.me slash ip and it should run it for us to get the IP address or maybe we can always for example uh, do something else I'm here just using these simple commands to demonstrate the idea but of course you can use your imagination you can use the commands that you would like to use so if you do host then should get us, get us information about the host and one extra thing we wanted to talk about here is that we can actually over override entry point yeah uh, what if you wanted for example to run a shell in our container instead of running the you know the w get command uh, run it with this parameter and then exit. What, what, what if we wanted to run something else like a shell, for example? Yeah, this is to override entry point. Remember, entry point we can use it to define the base command that we want to run when we run the container. So let's try and override entry point to run something else, something else instead of the command that we define in the Docker file. Yeah, so in the Docker file, we wanted to run wget, but now we want to run something else. Let's go back, see how we run our image. And we don't want this parameter. So we do docker run. Um, and then let's maybe run bash. So minus it to run it interactively. And notice now I say minus minus entry point. Sorry, I say minus. Some people say hyphen or some people say dash. It depends on you know what you want to say. And then do bash, run bash. So we're overriding uh, the entry point command inside the docker file. And what will happen now is we will go automatically to bash, yeah, to the shell instead of running the wget. I hope the idea makes sense. We are overriding the entry point command here. 
let's stop here thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video